hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to walk you through how to create an amazing video background website so i've done this video a similar video like this but my i'm not using a voiceover i'm just using audio so i want to do a explanatory video on this and i'm going to walk you through how to do everything step by step with no steps skipped okay so actually i'm using a video which i downloaded from uh pizzles.com that's the video i'm going to use and i'm using my favorite code editor which is a vs code editor i have a folder for css so i created a, a css file empty css file and also have the index file and i have my video within this file that's the nature.mp4 and then the image over here is for the logo so what we're going to do is to get started i'm going to start and over here let's just give a title to this particular work so let's say video background okay so that should be the title and then we're going to create a class called container so that's going to be dot container so that is a class we're going to create and within this container we're going to create a nav bar and then within this nav bar we're going to create or we're going to embed our logo first okay so let's say image and then we're going to call this we're going to get the source where we have our image so this is going to be image and then that's our logo okay we can actually give a class in case we want to update this logo or make a maybe make a change to that so let's give it a class of logo okay now what is going to happen next is that we're going to also create some ul that's unordered list within this and over here we're going to create the list items and this list items are going to contain links okay so we're going to have our home page at the moment i'm not going to link you to anything so this is going to be home and i'm just going to duplicate this about three more times so let's have our about page so we have about let's also have let's say services and let's say lastly we have a contact page okay so this is what we've done so far we can actually view this in the browser so i'm going to open my file here so this should be my index page so at the moment you see i have my links over here the logo is here but because the background is white you will not see that so i have this so this is the website we are trying to achieve so this is actually going to be our standard so let's go ahead and then add some few more information to this now we want to first work on another bar and then the content side so after the nav bar we are actually going to add a section so that section is actually going to be for this side we're going to have the video background and then we have the button so let's add that and then we can write our css for everything so this is going to be section and then within the section we're first going to have h1 tag which is going to be our text which is going to be the video video background Okay, actually, I want this in caps. Okay. Okay, so now after this, we're going to bring a button down here. And it's actually going to be a link. And I'm not going to link it to anything for this. It's just going to be something like discover, discover more. Okay, so that is all I want up to this stage. We'll save this and then we can reload this in our browser. So we have everything down here. Now we're going to use CSS to center everything that we can do our formatting. But before that, we need to link our CSS in the header. So this is the CSS. We're going to link this in the header. So it's within the CSS folder. So we need to make sure we target that. That is perfect. Now we can start writing our CSS here. Since we've linked it, we can start writing our CSS. The first thing we need to do is to reset our page. And we're going to say margin. So margin is going to be zero. Padding zero. We're also going to set box sizing to border box. And then I'm going to give a general font for this. So I'm going to state a font family. Sorry, I'm actually going to do font family, which I'm going to use 
area I have vertical and sans serif so that's going to be my font if i save this and then try to reload this in my browser you can see it has actually formatted everything now we're going to center everything and we're going to do that using flexbox so we're going to target our container remember we created a class called container so this is what we're going to target we target this let's target this down here and it's a class so remember to bring the dots and then we can start writing the code for that now i'm going to set the width so i'm going to set the width to does the weight is going to be 100 percent so that's what we're going to do we're going to give the width as 100 percent and then we'll go ahead and then give a height the height i'm going to give a height of 100 percent the vertical viewpoint that's the viewpoint and i'm going to give a display of flex okay so our display is actually going to be flex and then we're also going to justify content so our justify content is going to be center and also let's align item towards center okay so that is all we need to do over here let's save this and then reload this in our browser so now you can see we have everything now at the center we're going to target everything individual the navbar and the format it and move the navbar to the top but let me give a background to this so that we can see our logo so i'm going to do this here i'm going to set a background and it's going to be a background i want to use gradient so let me say background image and i'm going to use the linear gradient and then i'm going to say rgb a the a is for the alpha so i'm going to say 12 comma 351 and then it's going to be 0 0.3 that's going to be the opacity so i'm going to copy this and because i'm using gradients i'll bring a comma here i'll bring a comma here and then paste the same thing now let's go ahead and save this and then reload our page you can see now we've given some background gradients which is a bit gray and we can see our logo visible now now the next thing we need to do is actually to make this position we're going to make this position actually we're going to make the position relative okay so we're going to make the position relative now we need to target our navbar we've created a navbar we need to target this navbar and then now work on the navbar so target the navbar and we're going to give a position as absolute so position of our navbar is actually going to be absolute position and we're going to give a weight a weight of let's give a weight of 100 percent as well we'll give a weight of 100 percent and we want to give top a top of zero left zero and we are going to display this as flex as well we're going to display this as flex and justify content we're going to align item as to center let's align everything at center okay now let me first justify this as well so let's justify content but this time around we're going to use space between let's save this and reload what we've done so you can see we've moved our nav bar to the top here we have the logo over here we only have the image at the center over here so you can see we're going to take shape very soon so now let's come back here and then work on this logo and then align it with display everything inline block okay so now i'm going to add some padding I'm going to add some padding to this and i'm going to add a padding top bottom to be 20 pixels okay and 40 left right okay so i'm going to give 40 left right so that's what i'm going to do and we go ahead and now start targeting the list items within our nav bar so we're going to target the list items so nav bar ul li so that's what we're going to target and we're going to actually remove the list and set it to what none 
So the list star, we're going to set it to none. We're actually going to display this as inline block. Okay, display this, we're going to say inline block. And then let's save this and then reload this. So you can see we have this display as inline block. Now we just need to format this, give some space into that, and then we can proceed. So I'm just going to continue on this. And then I'm going to give some margin left of 40 pixels pixels okay margin left of 40 pixels okay and then we go ahead and then also give a text decoration of none because we don't want the underlining so text decoration is going to be none okay and i think we are set with that side i'm going to reload this and i can see it's not looking better now we're going to target just the li we're going to target the li within that we want to transform our text also to uppercase okay let's try and transform our text to uppercase so i'm going to do that with my li let's do that over here so i'm going to do that so text i'm going to say text transform i'm going to say uppercase okay so i want to transform my text to uppercase actually i'm going to remove this list text decoration we're going to apply this to the l the anchor element that's the link so we come back here and set our nav bar ul and the li and then we target the anchor that's the link over here and this time around we're going to say text decoration which i copied set it to none font width i'm going to set my font width to 600 i want it to be very bold and also the color should be what white okay the white you can use the hazardesimal value to do that so you can just do this and then just reload this so you can see this is looking better now this is now looking better okay so we're going to proceed to our section and then we can format the section so we call the section within this our css so we're going to say section here within the section what i'm going to do is that i'm going to align the text center so I'm going to say text align center first and we're going to target the h1 header that's the h1 header within our text is h1 so if you come here you can see we are targeting the section we can target in this the video background that's what we want we want to target and then work on so I'll come here and then I'm going to say text align again I'm going to align it to center and i'm going to give a color of white i'm also going to set the font size i want something very big so the font size i'm going to give it 110 pixels okay that is what i want to do and i'm also going to give a font width of 600 i want it to be bold as well so i'm going to say 600 and then finally i'm um, add some information but i'll come back to that i want to add some form of transition okay but let's go back here and then let's reload this and see some improvement you can see we now have the video background here so let's work on the button next so we're going to select let's give some hover effects which we'll come and do if you come here you can see there's some effect on this text so we'll come and work on this later on but let's work on the button and then we'll come back there so that's going to be the link item beneath our button which we're going to work on so here i'm going to say section and and target just the link below i'm going to target the link below that and i'm going to say take the text decoration i'm going to set it towards none so let me scroll down a bit and i'm going to display this inline block so i'm going to display this as inline block I'm also going to give a color of white and I'm also going to give font I want to give a font size of 26 pixels 26 pixels that's the font size I want to apply to this and I want to go ahead and then also give a border so we're going to apply a border to this so the border is going to be two pixels and it's going to be solid white 
okay and then let's also add a padding i'm gonna add a padding padding of 20 pixels that's top bottom and then 65 65 left right okay that's going to be the padding for our button and let's give a border radius a border radius of let's say 50 pixels and finally margin top okay let me explain the margin top so i'm going to save this and show you why we need a margin top so let's come and load this so you can see we have this but i want to provide some space between the background video and then our text over here okay the button so that's why i want to add some margin top over there so over here i'm going to say margin so margin top of i'm going to give around 20 pixels okay so provide some space over there and then i should get a space after reloading this so you can see i have some room over here now let's go ahead and we're going to target the video background now but before we do that we need to add our video so we're going to provide some space here within our container and then add our video okay so that's what we're going to do and we're going to use video tag and over here i'm going to provide some space i don't want this here i want to just make this video auto play so i'm going to say auto or to play and i want this video to continue playing so i'm going to add loop and then mute it so if there's any sound in it i'm not going to play that sound okay so over here this is where i'm going to add a source okay i'm going to add a source and i will include the lsrc src which indicates where my video is located and then that is a nature video now let's just save this you're going to save this but before that, i want to give a class to this so that i can do some formatting to that so the class is going to be let's say bg video so i can use that class to format my video now come back here and then reload this we actually have our video now as you can see but it's not well aligned it has shifted part of my text so we need to format this by using css so what i'm going to do here is i'll go back to my css and remember we give a class to that as bg video and then we'll do some few changes to that and i'm going to say position should be absolute the position of this should be absolute and it's also should be right should be zero and also i want the bottom zero and finally i want the z index i want the z index to be minus one and then i think our video should be working perfectly now so you can see now everything is working perfectly as expected but we need to add this hover effect over here for both the button and then the video background the text so that is what we need to do so we're going to target our h1 header and then we'll add some hover effect to that so we'll go back here so this is the h1 header let's copy this and below here we'll paste this again and add some hover effect to this and then within this hover effect what i'm going to do is i'm going to use webkit i'm going to use webkit so it should be webkit dash text so we're going to use a text stroke so i'm going to select this and that it should be i'm going to make it two pixels solid so this should be solid okay let's just make it two pixels white okay so we'll make this one two pixels white and below that we're going to make the color transparent okay so the color should be transparent okay but we're going to add some transition to the h1 so we're going to add a transition of 0 0.5 so transition is going to be 0 0.5 seconds okay now let's save this go back reload our page so you can see this is now working perfectly as expected now we have to work on the button we're going to add a hover effect to the button now so is it going to be basically the same process we're going to use so i'm going to come here and then now target my session which i have my link over here so copy that come down here paste and then 
we add stamp over effect to this and then we're just going to give a background color background color of white and then the color which we was going to be our text that should be black okay so that is all and when i go back and I reload this you can see now if i hover on this i'm going to have a white background but the text is going to be black and i still have the hover effect on my video background so basically this is how to create a website with video background like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification i have more similar video more coding video more programming video and more practical and project based video coming up so in order not to miss that remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos so this is basically how to do this like for more bye bye